Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now, uh, let me go ahead and introduce myself. It has been a while since I've last made a YouTube video and a lot of things have changed. Not so here what a lot of you watch this channel for, but more so what you usually would park right here. Now, if you've watched my channel a little bit, you know that I used to have a 2021 Ford Ranger, but now I got this guy right here. As of about a week or two now, can't really remember, but back to what I said a second ago, my name is Chase. Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's been a minute. Let's check this thing out. So here she is, my new, or new to me, 2019 F-150 Platinum. Now you're ready for this? Power stroke, baby. Turbo diesel. What the hell is even that? So far, I am loving this thing. It is really sick, and it is perfect for the kind of work I do. If you don't know what kind of work I do, I run a landscaping business and I pull stuff on the daily and this thing does it like no problem. And not only is it pulling it easy, I'm looking good and feeling good in this here plat. This thing has a lot, a lot of crazy features. Um, let's go ahead and kind of start right here. I don't know if y'all can see the, yeah, you can see it is locked right now. As you can see, no key in my hand at all. We're just gonna, boom. Y'all see that? It unlocked for me just cause the keys are in my pocket. I don't know, it's cool. It's cool to me. So let's take a look in here. All leather interior. I mean, this thing is specced completely out. I can't tell you something that this thing does not have. And you already know, had to get four wheel drive. We got the trailer brake, push start, AC and heated seats. Um, literally everything. Like you can you can move the, the pedals. Like who even knew that was possible? And also say hi to little Joe. In little Joe, little, is that too much? I don't know. Oh, my name is retarded. I don't know if y'all can see this, but man, we even got the full moon roof in here, guys. It is crazy. It is really crazy. So much room in the back, especially compared to that Ranger I had. Oh, sorry. Got to unlock it. Still trying to figure out this thing. So much room. I mean, if you lift these seats up, you basically have a full-size camper in this thing. Hang on, let me lift it up for y'all. So we lifted up that side and I don't know, camera doesn't do justice, but this is a huge back seat and there's heated seats back here. And of course, AC, it would be cool if there was cooled seats back here, but um, I guess Ford just didn't want to do that with their trucks. Not too sure why. At least in the 2019. And yeah, obviously, as y'all can tell, show you the diesel. But yeah, guys, so far this thing is a beast. It runs so well. There's, I think, 38,000 miles on it. So it's not too much, but it's also not brand new. It's just enough to where it's already, if it had any kinks in it, they're already worn out. And now I'm just running it per se. But yeah. It is the three liter diesel, so it is the smaller power stroke, which is okay. I think it's like 250 or 60 horsepower and 445 foot pounds of torque, something like that. Definitely not the fastest truck, I will tell you that. The Ranger definitely has this one um, speed wise for sure. Pulling wise, this thing does numbers on the Ranger. But yeah, guys, I have not done anything to it at all. It actually came with the ranch hand bumper, which I actually love. I actually wanted to get one of those on this truck and color match it at one point, but still haven't done that. This guy's been sitting for a while now. We definitely need to do something with this. And it's got the little backflip thing on here, which is sick. Back rack. It's pretty, pretty dang nice, guys. There's only one little flaw we got. It was like this whenever I got it. Um, there's even a crack in the aluminum there. Definitely going to get that fixed at some point, though, but... Uh, yeah, the power fold mirrors. I mean, it's literally got everything, guys. It is super, super nice truck. Another thing that's pretty cool about it, we got the amp steps on there, which it came with that. As you can see, platinum. Yeah, guys, I mean, I could go on and on about this truck. If y'all guys wanna see a in-depth review about it and kind of just a, a drive in it and everything like that, y'all let me know. But this video, I kind of just wanted to make a video and try to get back into this stuff. But while we are at it, already here filming, uh, why don't we get a start on it so y'all can hear this baby power stroke. I'm gonna set y'all right here and I'm gonna go start that thing 
and let's hear this little thing purr. It's not very loud at all yet. I may delete it. It's up in the air. Y'all let me know. We'll see what happens. Actually, who am I kidding? I'm still not used to this platinum status. I can just click a button and it starts. Not really any noise coming out of here. We can come up here and you can hear it a little bit. Oh, hear that chugga chugga. Headlights are sick. I really love this generation of Ford, what they did with these headlights. And as y'all know, I don't know why, but headlights are really a make or break thing for me, as you can tell from the OBS there. But yeah, everything about this truck is really, really sick so far, except that right there. But like I said, we'll take care of that. Definitely with the price I got this thing for, that was uh, definitely taking off some of the price for me. So what the, the amount I paid for this truck is definitely worth it. And uh, finding one of these power strokes is super rare, especially in Texas. This was like the only one I could find at all, pretty much. And I think I drove, actually wasn't too far. It was about an hour away. I got lucky and yeah, yeah, I think it was in up near Dallas or something like that. I don't know, I don't remember. But yeah, loving this thing so far. No complaints at all yet. I mean, it's a it's a diesel. What can you complain about? Nothing. But yeah, we'll go ahead and shut her off now just so she don't use too much diesel. Speaking of, the gas mileage is great on this thing or should I say diesel mileage? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Just driving around normally, like city, neighborhood, highway kind of driving, getting upwards of like 20. When I'm pulling the trailers, anywhere from 12 to 15, depending on what trailer I'm pulling. The 12 is like a 5,000 pound trailer unloaded, so it, it does super good. And that's like neighborhood driving, like five to 10 minute drives. 10 different times a day so it does super good but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i just like i said wanted to make one and just let y'all know what's going on and if y'all want to see me do anything to this thing whether it be little or big just let me know and uh, we'll try to make it happen and also if you want to see anything about this guy in the back let me know as well because my season might start slowing down a little bit here within like the next month or so so we'll have more time to make videos and hopefully just have some fun with it again and really get going again because I was really enjoying it and it seems like y'all were too. But that's enough of the rambling. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.